akanambia e, mimi si shana maluo na mwingine wanaingia so nenda na pendo kwenje yako mimi sasa nitakuwa na ni kutomima na i did it that day it was me eh, yani okay i don't know how to do it sorry but it was so painful and I had to go through it that night remember i cried the whole night nikamka subuhi nikaenda job since it was so nakumkata asubuhi nikaa kwa mat sikuwa na singeweza kukaa sasa ile venye alitigonga ile mti akachukua hiyo half of it akaanza kushapen anaambia ni parmi mko hello tuko family my name is kingori wangeshi and on this episode of my story our guest mary tells us she ignored red flags from the very first day she moved in with a man until she had a brush with death let's get to hear more from her okay thank you kinyuri for coming i'm mary araka i'm a, ma- a mother of two I have a boy and a girl four years old and almost two years the son is mm-hmm. and i'm now 30 years old yeah okay uh we will get into the story because when i saw your email it was it was shocking it was disturbing even to read but we are here to hear the story uh first of all looks like you now from the background of the email you are starting life how did you find yourself here yeah from everything from the look of everything i'm actually restarting aha uh-huh. i can say things have not been so easy or so good on my side mm-hmm. things have been ups and downs so to begin with uh, i was married in 2016 mm-hmm. 2nd of june mm-hmm. to be precise you remember the dates as yes, i do mm-hmm. it was on 2nd of june mm-hmm. i was married and then my marriage wasn't official we didn't officiate like to find a rusi or no mm-hmm. it was like a mistake we met with this guy mm-hmm. We had a conversation. We actually didn't even date for long. Uh-huh. To be precise, it didn't even took a month. Really? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you met within a month you decided that you're now going to settle together as a uh-huh. as a husband and wife. As a couple. As a couple. Say, yeah. Mhm. Uh-huh. We reached a try. Uh-huh. Then we moved in. Uh-huh. We started life. How did you meet? Mhm. Uh-huh. There we met through a friend uh-huh. in terms of uh, He was coming to buy milk while I was also buying milk. Uh-huh. I was staying with my aunt by then. Uh-huh. And he was staying with a cousin. Uh-huh. So that's how we met. Yeah, and then we had a conversation. Love at the first sight, tukaingiana, uh-huh. then we moved in. Okay. Yeah. So from day one, uh-huh. things were I can't say they were good or from uh, day one. From day one. Actually from day one. It was a red flag of which I didn't notice because when we were even dating having that conversation there's a time ndo mjana na mtu then he calls you he finds out your your out of reach then in the evening when you're going to meet is like I could in the during the day and you didn't pick my call where were you at you doing and you barely even one week old mm-hmm. and then I started explaining I by then I katururu kabambe so it could be on and off njonga lenye unashikilia na blada sengine ikiachilia lazima lazima you're off mm-hmm. line and then during that time you're off line you maybe somebody's calling you mm-hmm. and then you will find later try to call him or something else so that's how it started so it started with calling within the first within time. the first you know just as an introduction part and you actually not even dating you actually knowing each other mm-hmm. it's our introduction part mm-hmm. but we had some is on our parts uh, uh, let me ask what was the age difference between you and him mm-hmm. to be honest i don't know his exact age cause mm-hmm. in his id the age is that is in his id is not his age he says i'm a ndika too mm-hmm. but he used to tell me me i'm old now me don't know the exact age mm-hmm. because I've never find someone tell me his age mm-hmm. but what he say then you meant kwa ID sio hiyo yake okay. yeah so mm-hmm. na kwa ID the difference between yake na yangu is around 4 okay. uni ID mm-hmm. but now in real you know it's maybe around more than 5 i 
can say more than five, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure okay. exact number. Okay. Yeah. So that's how we met. We moved in within a month. Then we started life. I remember it was on a single room, single life. We were staying by we were staying with this cousin. It was by then long holiday mm -hmm. because in Aki he was in campus. So I'll come come long holiday and then I'll come and I. But yeah, he was working and then he was a cashier in a company, mm -hmm. a cashier worker. So I'll come a job. Me by then he didn't have a job. I was I was staying with my aunt and said so. When he moved in, he go see a job. Mm -hmm. He became a housewife. I yeah, became a housewife. Mm -hmm. But I remember I could get some like promotions, yeah, a week. And then I go, I come back, then I'm, I I didn't have a job, a job, job, job. Mm -hmm. Maybe two ages. And then there's a time uh, there's this mama a friend of mine. I'll meet and go and I'm chomia samaki. Mm -hmm. So I could go in the evening. So, you know, samaki mnanza kuchoma around five. Mm -hmm. Five PM. Mm -hmm. Then Narudi kwa nyumba around eight or nine depending mm -hmm. on customers somehow the stock was yes yeah so there's a time so now that's i've already moved in i could get some iso nini natoka naenda so there's a time matani lenda kuchomeo yu mama samaki alikuwa najua the place i was so wakifika kwa nyumba kama nisha toka na nini anaiza ni kuja kuona maliniko then there's a time we came kapata nimebakisha around same samaki nina tano hivi then was like, stand at home. Kambia no still too early. Because it was around 7.30. Kambia si tungo zengoje ni malizi hizi ndiyo tufungi ni niende. Was like, no, masai meenda, sinjakula nini nini. So me, on my side, I was sorry, guy. It's, I'm sorry kama ni me kuchelewesha, sinjaku nini. I closed. Tukaenda kwa nyumba. So, tukafika. Nika, ile, tukapika. Tukakula. Evil, life continued. Then there's also a time I, I got pregnant and then I miscarried. Mm -hmm. So I've miscarried. I'm back in the house around two to three days. Sani, no, around a week. Mm -hmm. I went to pay my cousin a visit. And then my cousin, she, she was married. She had a family. Mm -hmm. So to make a car, to make a story. And then she was like, Kuzus, you la lembono and it's too late. I called him, I told him, today I'm not coming, I'm having, because she knew the, he knew the cousin, mm -hmm. the, he was familiar with her. He said, it's okay, I slept. Mm -hmm. The following day when I came, to my surprise, in fact, okay, do mingia kwa nyumba hivi, nile mpata shafika. Then he was like, where are you coming from? Kumbata ile mimba uku miskari ulitua ndo wanze kuzunguka. And I was like, I was in my cousin's place. You even you know even the cousin I was with. Mm -hmm. You Krushana he slapped me. And then I fell down. In fact I fainted. Really? Yes, it did. It was such a hard slap. It was such a hard slap. And then it was I was shocked because it came unexpected. Because me didn't I didn't see it coming. Mm -hmm. So it and then and then remember I'm from hospital. I just miscarried and from hospital and then with all the pain. I remember I nil faint, I fell down there almost an hour. We were staying around with the, uh, the area we were staying. His mm -hmm. brother also was staying around and the brother was married. So Aka Kimbilia Uko, he called the wife. Aka Kudza, I remember the wife in the Alifanya first aid in Kamuka. But now since I was afraid, I didn't tell them what happened. Mm -hmm. I was like, it's a mistake. I didn't want to share. It was a mistake. So those are the red flags. I didn't. I didn't share them out. Mm -hmm. So even the cousin, I never called her back and told her after I met up with this and this happened. No, I can give your story. And then another thing, he was so, he's ever sorry. Except for you, tell you, babe, okay, I'm sorry. Ni mistake, unajua na kupenda. I'm not even sure where you are. And I was like, okay, sorry. Then, uh, your story, Taisha, I couldn't share with anyone. to endelea na maisha. So, I didn't know I had this condition of, uh, in medical term, they call it, you have a, Short cervix. Mm -hmm. uh, short cervix condition ni le ukshika pregnancy if you're not done a stitch in time. So as the baby grows, your cervix opens. Mm -hmm. And then you inafunguka before due time. Mm -hmm. In total grow, then you miscarry. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know. So out of that, I miscarried five children. So sorry. Yeah, I had the first pregnancy, the second pregnancy. The mm -hmm. third pregnancy was triplets. Yeah. So all that to really go through, and then there were 
words being thrown here and there there's a time where sema the ca- i don't know i don't want to say the cousins or the friends okay maybe the friends of his or kwa na advice hata uyachana na yeye hata hizi pata mtoto mm-hmm. hata maybe she had miscarried akatupa uh, nini so ngumbi yake yezi hold mtoto anymore you see so such a words mm-hmm. yeah and then so out of that alikuwa anakuja ananiambia by the way mimi nimeambiwa wewe ni kama utaweza and i'm like maybe i, I don't know me mr wai mm-hmm. so f- before such so how were you feeling when you were told such words it was so okay now it was it was so okay uh, before i've never aborted i've never stay kwa na you experience in same it was maybe so me was like no it can't happen and then now another thing is from a different tribe and from a different tribe mm-hmm. so people are like maybe you're not even accepting that family that's why that thing is happening mm-hmm. yeah the your myths that happened the side so my people from my side were like hey hapo ni kama utakiwi you need to sort yourself out mm-hmm. and me I was like no where am i going uh then this this thing and after miscarriage na happened to kirudi kwa nyumba tukiwa na any disagreement just tell me hata kwanza ni mtu nimevumilia unafaa kunishimu sana so i was ever sorry sa nilianza even i lost my self esteem cuz this person mko na yeye haizi kurudi akwambie aki this has happened as sakapo muonge chini mnini mm-hmm. sa all the blame will be on my side mm-hmm. mimi ndio niko na makoso ni kama hiyo mimi mimi ndio niko na jipea unaelewa <laughs> so i was like i wasn't the one who even got myself pregnant mm-hmm. we were with you mm-hmm. then this happened it's not many ni so there's a time i went to a clinic in mama lucy that's when we went to to a gynecologist in in mama lucy that mama she was called esther she took us through the process i was done this time nikapatikana niko na hiyo short cervix nikafanywa mcdonald's stitch you have been done before 14 weeks mm-hmm. nikafanywa so after umefanywa you have you need to have a total bed rest kabisa ufanye anything hata maji 5 liter ufai kuinua cuz if you carry a heavy thing he's always the tanini sakatika ya so that's how i was able to conceive i carried the pregnancy through and then i conceived my first born so yeah so because mtoto alikuwa mdogo we couldn't go to up country mm-hmm. during december holidays yes but here akasema ataenda mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden he changed his mind it's not going at akana sisi uh-huh. you see singe travel na mtoto mdogo uh-huh. during that yo december i had to leave leave yake kwanga december i had to leave so he suggested i go pay his cousin a visit manya na ka kitengela uh-huh. so na mimi nikasema yeye na boyka kwa nyumba tunaenda tumtembelee tuke two days then we come back so you want to go as Uh, no as a couple yourself no he, he could escort us to fike mm-hmm. but here rudi consist okay. ngenda kula loko mm-hmm. we did so tukaenda yada uh, tukafika tukalala so hiyo process yote nilikuwa i didn't have a smartphone he used to have a smartphone their friends ku wangeniambia meri ukwaje offline naambia ah you can use my husband's phone kama unataka kunipata whatsapp uh-huh. so me some could text me in his phone and then hata niambi uh-huh. juni whatsapp so nona na share so uh-huh. mtu ana call maybe hata nini aniambi but later anambi ah by the way ni chat na nani akasema ani kusalimia nikamwambia ni sawa msalimie so there's this friend of mine is a childhood friend actually the one who has made us to be here then uh-huh. she has been my friend ever through so your time during my pregnancy she was always there you time me uh, the dress mm-hmm. she could come over and send us some whole house chores and everything so they were so we were so close all of us like it was that she was a friend yes so this time to me nda huko me okay according to her vinya linyambia he had him text akamwambia she's coming to pay us a visit mm-hmm. now the jamaa kumwambia miri hayuko and I am toka mm-hmm. akamwambia it's okay you can come mm-hmm. so kumbuka sisi tumeenda huko na mtoto yeye nini then when kufika akamuliza according na venye aliniambia akamwambia Miri ameendea mboga akamwambia we are we are not, the, you're not coming back, not coming back. Mm-hmm. 
So since we are, we are friends aka jeto ntakamwa kaka sije around 7 8 ndana mbia timiria menda kuona mtu hata rodi. Mm-hmm. But now my friend knew him as my my husband. Mm-hmm. We were in a bed sitter by then. And then waka waka lala mi nikiwa the other side. Allah. But she told me alimsumbua usiku. Mm-hmm. Of course akimwambia they have they make love akamwambia no i can't do that to my friend blah 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 issues zikanzanga mtoto ni mdogo issues zikanzanga nafika anatuachia ta fifth book mko kuna mtoto you are lactating mom there's no shopping in the house mtu ameenda job then i kuja jioni anakwambia siku na unga ya ungeenda uchukue nini kwa duka unamuza sasa kwa duka siku ana pesa tutaenda kuchukua aje mm-hmm. sa eh kashindo so kuna siku aka akakuja akaniambia ati mimi by then naona uende home sasa namuuliza anaenda home wapi mimi mm-hmm. anasema uende home kwa wao ah, alisema tu niende home mm-hmm. sasa namuuliza anaenda home wapi akaniambia ti life ni ngumu wewe aona tu venye utaenda uende ukaikae kwanza then utarudi nikamza anaenda wapi plus naenda na mtoto mdogo napelekea burden yangu watu wae mm-hmm. Before if kiapo tulikuwa tumeanza kwa na issues afanye shopping hakuna food so I remember there is another friend of mine alikuwa na ka sixth floor si tulikuwa na ka second floor by then alikuwa ni to I don't I don't want to mention mm-hmm. but she knows herself mm-hmm. she could come we share na niambia ah chakula tu miri nitakuta nikiwa na nini nitakuletea by this she used to cook analeta tunakula na mtoto yeye kuja jioni ananiambia ah wewe ungejisort tu me didn't have anything kwa hiyo plot kwa tunakaa kuna watu walikuwa na wifi. So anasema kwa and then kuna Jamal kwa amemwekea password. Anasema kwa nyumba ishiki vizuri. Uh-huh. So anaenda kwa balcony. Anakaa kwa anarudi kwa nyumba ile most one. Sasa so, unajua wenye ukiwa na mtoto mdogo kuna ile time unanyonyesha. Uh-huh. Uh, nini anaamka, unarudi. So hata sengine unalala unashtuka akurudi ndio unashtuka gai kumbe huyu mtu hata akukuja. Umeamka katikati ukiangalia anakwambia okay atarudi by the nyewe atoki kwa nyumba ni mbaridi ya zenu unajua tu mtu alikuwa kwa baridi mm-hmm. yanakuja so later on i came to notice ama to realize nili nili go through his phone ame download a lot of pondo ya yes, zilikuwa kwa simu mingi mingi so i think ndio alikuwa anadanga na watch or something of the sort mm-hmm. alikuwa anadanga na watch mm-hmm. so nikamuliza unafanyanga nini akaniambia ati ni net tu niko kwa net huko huko nje so siku nyingine ame, ametoka sijui nani alibisha somebody knock the door akatoka akatoka akaacha simu mm-hmm. nikaingia kwa simu yake uh, kuingia kwa simu yake text ka pop ati mbona why shot mbona umekimia i think it was something like that mbona umekimia then mbele kulikuwa mbona umekimia babe ai kanyeleza bib tena so <laughs> nasi na na si nini na text <laughs> kumka kuna whatsapp mimi hata niko na kabambi mm-hmm. oh through mm-hmm. sina hiyo smartphone sasa hiyo curiosity bib mm-hmm. nikafungua na the whole conversation what i saw i saw a conversation there this lady alikuwa msew i don't want to mention mm-hmm. alikuwa msew hiyo they had a conversation then now the part that shocked me the lady was telling him that we kazi yako ni kunipeleka kesho za wenyewe I was like kijaza wenyewe so my ears were like okay so ndio maana anaambiwa nijitoe ndio maana mtu ananiambia so meaning kuna mtu mwingine mhm uh-huh. friend yangu now the one I've told you when I called her nikamwambia this and this is happening nikamwambia are you sure you are to screen the is only ni kamza sana tuma wapi sina simu you could have the evidence nikamwambia he anaambia he sasa wewe ungefanya aje nikamwambia hata unge screenshot unitumie ndio sasa she opened up akanipa and by then in fact the last time we came kama huko this and this happened ali nisumbua but we didn't have anything but it was a terrible night sasa ndio aka open up akamwambia mm-hmm. hey so mimi nimepata hivi akanambia we akiwe we really need to do something so the following day akienda job mimi mm-hmm. nikatoka i packed mhm nikatoka na mtoto nikaenda home kwenu sasa i went to my this is my uncle with a brother to my mom mm-hmm. akona huko south sea sikwenda home nili hata kwanza nili kwanza hii siku hata ali nini after amekuja nikamuuliza akaniambia ah achana na hizo he didn't he wasn't even sorry mm-hmm. cuz mimi nilikuwa nime jam so amekuja hivi nataka kumwatak kamza hizi ni nini nikam show the conversation mm-hmm. it was like ah achana na hizo nikaenda kwa hiyo my uncle 
hapo South Sea kenda na mtoto so kwenda hapo na mtoto nikaka hapo nao akukuuliza pale uko akukupigia simu alinipigia mm -hmm. nilikuwa nimemblock nilitoka na nikamblock mm -hmm. sasa si yako job akarudi jioni akapata ah kuna ka vacant je nilikuwa nibeba bag nini ile nyenye notes mtu ametoka mm -hmm. akapiga nilikuwa nimemblock haiko inaingia akapigia sio alijaje niko hiyo side akukuja na to make matters was nilitoka hivi hiyo siku amekuja amepata nyumba iko si yuko she brought the mama in the house hiyo mm -hmm. side chick mm -hmm. akamleta kwa nyumba the very day mm -hmm. akamleta kwa nyumba so si mimi niko south siku ngoli yangu nikakaa hapo almost two weeks two, two days to three days kuzo wangu sasa akaniambia ah kuzo utakaa hivi kwa nyumba kuja uhasal mm -hmm. jisa niko na mtoto kuja mm -hmm. uhasal ya alikuwa tunapikanga uji tunazungusha hapo kwa masoja tuna nini so nilikafanya hiyo kufanya hiyo so kulikuwa na kulikuwa na maudaku umetoka na nia ameoa umeamua kumpea space unapigiwa simu sasa eh napigiwa simu na friends kwani nitoka ukapeana space mm -hmm. na huko wanakula njaru hadi wanakuja wananua mboga pamoja wanashikana kumbe wewe ndio ulikuwa unaleta jam wewe wewe ndio ulikuwa unaleta jam i was like ah it's okay wachangangane na ali yake mm -hmm. So nikachapa hiyo hasa nikachapa hiyo hasa akakujanga kwa yango yango. So nilikuwa nimeexplain yango yango everything vinya tunalala nja mm -hmm. and they were so pissed off. They were like, "Hey, bono na tesaka hiyo." So akakujanga hapo kwa ngoli yango. Mm -hmm. Kukuja it didn't come in peace. Mm -hmm. In fact, even I pissed my uncle. Akamwambia ati, "Kama uwezi taka niongee na huyo msichana wenu umchukue basi." Ana. Yeah, this thing. Mm. Yeah, mkuja na vita and then it was really mtu akikuja mm. ataki mo have conversation, ataka kuje akubebe murudi. Mhm. Ivo, ataki and then ataki kubali and then yeye yeah, alikuwa ile ana makosa. Mhm. Wewe ndio na makosa. Sasa niko na makosa nilingia kwa simu yangu, chake chenye nilikuwa nataka nikapa, nikapata. nikapata. Mm -hmm. And it was not story akaniambia chenye nilikuwa nataka ulipata. Mimi sina anything. Wewe rudi kwa kama kama hutaki uendelee kuteseka. Sasa kuteseka ni ile nilikuwa na mka nazungusha uji, hiyo uko na mtoto. Sasa mm -hmm. nilikuwa na nambeba kwa mgongo ama sasa ngine naachie nini? Natafuta mtu ananiangalia for some hours na kuja na mlipa. Of course it was not easy. Nilikuwa tu kuhasol, kuhasol. Mm -hmm. Nilikuwa kuhasol. So according to him, aliona nateseka, akasema nimeparara of which to some extent I was because hiyo don't kwa napata ndio tunakula hapo things are not okay kuna hiyo guest ilikuwa tunapikia ngauzi mm -hmm. ikaisha don't nikwa nayo yote and then nilikonga na nimechukua simu ya mkopa ya kulipa mdogo mdogo mm -hmm. so pesa napata hapo unafaa ulipe daily mm -hmm. unafaa unile mtu to diaper unafaa ununue stock and of a sudden nikapata nime nime run out of stock mm -hmm. sina anything mm -hmm. I'm frustrated that I'm not able to get stock yet. When did I get so young? Because I don't need to work. So in the process, I'll go and put jangas and get an 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 important deal. I'm ready to talk about it. I'm not going to say when you're not able to get. I'm ready to to get. I'm not going to say when you're not able to get. I'm ready to 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 to get. I don't know it was a bland or what immediately ni rudi mm -hmm. i conceived hey let they know it was the start of everything mm -hmm. sasa hapo ndio ilianza mm -hmm. so during that brings us things were so tough i remember kuna time sasa ilifika kama inaelekea end month ai au muone kwa nyumba anaenda anarudi asubuhi mm -hmm. kama amelewa sasa siku nyingine pia nika akafika kwa nyumba hivi sasa amelewa karusha simu kwa meza nikachukua nikaingia kwa messages nikapata dirty messages nikaingia kwa gallery nikapata nikapata mapicha zenye amechukua ma selfie kama wana kiss wanalewa nikasifu hiyo by then nilikuwa na simu nikasifu ni kwa simu yangu then nikaandika status nika post eh it's still post um, it's 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 okay, it's post it's okay not to be okay sabi bibi brother yake ndiye can text back kaza eh mary what is happening nika forward hizo picha kaambia what nikamwambia kivyo ndio kuko nikaanambia pana this one you have to nini to to to, to solve it mm -hmm. uko hapa nikamwambia mimi niko kwa nyumba anambia uko na hiyo hiyo picha hizo picha uko na picha zingine za huyo demo nikamwambia maybe nitoe kwa profile picture yake jua alikuwa amemsave okay mm -hmm. alikuwa amemsave nikamwambia maybe nizitoe kwa profile picture yake 
Now I'm almost seven, eight months. Ka uh-huh. kanembe it's okay. Kanembe na bidhi dim na mjua na jua mali anafanya. She was a ah watu wenye anafanya kwa baba. Mtu akisha akisha nyolewa ni wa massage. Kumbe hapo ndo walipatana. Ni I don't know. Mimi tunapenda hii. So I'll call you lady. Mm-hmm. So you the wife to the brother kanembe I know even the hiyo nini anafanya na jua huko. Mm-hmm. So kitu tutafanya leo nitatoka job mapema. Utakamu go we confront her. Kumbe it's okay. Okay. Drama mm-hmm. sasa hivi. Kanembe you come mm-hmm. go we confront her. Aweze kufanyia hivi ni reason ni kumbe it's okay. And then ni yule mtu wa ata atataka kujua what is going on nimefikia wapi mm-hmm. mimi sasa nilikuwa zile then do you remember i told you i had a problem ya savi nini mm, short short savi so sasa sasa hii nimekuja pregnancy ya pili siku shughulika nayo kushona mm ara nilikuwa najiambia kuje juu sasa hizo frustration alikuwa ameniambia mtoto si wake nimekuja sasa nikajiambia ta mtoke mhm hii kutoka mm-hmm. siku kwa na ile complication mm-hmm. nilikuwa najifanyia kazi zangu nilikuwa analala njana hiyo mateso bado namka anafua anafanya like it was a normal pregnancy mm-hmm. nothing happened sikushona sasa umeambiwa kuja twende nikaambiwa kuja twende mm-hmm. tukapatana tukaenda tukaenda huko tukapatana sasa huyu alikuwa nilikuwa nimempa mpaka namba alikuwa amemtext but alikuwa anafanya pia retouch huyu huyu nini yake akona dreads so akamdanganya ndakuja uni retouch akaingia box akampigia disima akamwambia nitakuja around 4 5 ya kaingia box so tukienda tukampigia simu kambia tuko hapa so tuko tunajifanya ni kama tuji but mimi ngine alikuwa anajua the place mm. akamwambia yeye ni client ni mgeni akamwambia sawa nitakupa direction hadi alimwambia kuna time ulikuwa unatengenezea mali fulani ulikujenga ukahama akamwambia nilitoka hapo kitambo niko mali fulani akamwambia asaba basi nitaka takuja so jeni tukimita kampigia kambia ndo nimepanda gari hivyo na kuja huko bado kambia no ikuja tukaenda tukakaa akamuliza aweke maji sasa yeye amosha kambia anambia tumwambie matufanyaje boss wake alikuwa boss wake alikuwa jamaa alikuwa kanambia unaona aje kambia saa wewe ndio utaona kambia saa akamwambia bidi useke maji wewe ndio tunatafuta kamwambia yeye tunataka kuongelesha huko free akamwambia pana niko na client huko naosha acha nimalize nika kam and then she was rude she was like nini nani mnatafutia nini niko na client ngoja nimalize alikam that's how she responded so kama alizio client alikuwa naosha sasa hizo uko hapa mimi mm, niko hapa nikakuja akakuja asimama nakumbuka alisimama hapo ya kaambia na unaweza kaa tu tuonge kaambia mko mnataka aje and then she had this thick voice yeah una me okay niliona ni kama ile maybe unaona watu wameshalewa sana wa kuna hiyo sauti nono cuz mm. alikuwa anakaa mlevi according to me kwa anakaa mlevi mm. then akona hiyo sauti mm. was voice yeah uh-huh. so inatoka hivyo so kwa zile za mnataka aje niambie <laughs> <laughs> aka akaka hapo akamwambia akamwambia unaona venye hiyo yako akamza uko na mtoto akamwambia ah kwani wewe sema si unataka kambi unajua you are breaking a family na that's the hiyo nani anamwambia kambi ha kani hiyo kambi unaona hiyo situation yenye yako akam akamwesha picture ya now the hiyo nini hiyo uh-huh. jamaa kamza do you know hiyo jamaa kambi yeye hiyo namjua eh uh, easy to you kambi ah si mpige simu mumulize that's how she responded and si mpige simu mumulize ajawaambia he akamwambia pana usipo hiyo si tuambie tu do you know is married mimi ajanambia kwa married akaambia okay basi is married na huyu ndio bibi yake naona na expectant so unaweza unaweza hiyo imagine uko kwa nini yako and then mtu anakufanyia hivyo utafila aje akaambia mimi sasa kama sikuwa ameniambia nikifanya nini and i remember that it was on a friday friday ama saturday it was on a friday na akasema hata kwanza leo alikuwa ameniita tunaenda mimi siwezi kataa kinitia pombe mhm So tukiwa hapo the lady called na huyo jamaa akamwambia hey tuko hapa kwa alimwambia tuko hapa kwa huyo said tuko hapa kwa nani huyo uh-huh. eh tuko hapa kwa nani na tuko na Mary sasa mimi eh, na nini nani kwako kwa jamaa akasema ni she is she's just a friend kama sasa wewe ndio just a friend ama ni sasa the other lady mm-hmm. is just a friend uh-huh. so mwingine akamuuliza just a friend na mko na picture mpaka mmekiss mbele ya camera mko na ma selfie mgo friend mnaenda that far kanyamanza. Sasa ukirudi nyumbani Mary, 
Tapata mtu wana utapata. <laughs> Sasa nimerudi kwa nyumba. Ilikuwa around 7, 7.30. Merudi kwa nyumba. Kufika, nikapata jafika. Hatuna sapa bado. Hei, nakasema we. Sasa, na, ni Friday. Nikaka 8, 8.30, around 9. Nakakuja. Kukuja, alicheka tu. Alinangalivi, akacheka kana me. Umeza drama in Nairobi. Tangangana. Mm-hmm. Singe mambia pia mimba ulitua wapi. Okay. Mimi ndio niambia. Niambia hata pia mimi ulikuwa nayo wapi. So hiyo story ya tukongelelea ilisha mm. hivyo. Na wewe ulikuwa tu sawa. Sasa okay, I couldn't do anything. Sasa ningefanya nini? Mm. And then I was like nilito, nilienda home, nimerudi saa hii kwa I'm pregnant, hata ntarudi aje. What should I do? What should I do? I just kept quiet. Nikanyamaza sasa after hiyo. Sasa kumbuka huyu mtoto si amemkana si wake nini? kafika fika I'm almost due. Nijafanya hata shopping. Mhm. Ini ile hata leso sina ya kwenda hose. Mhm. Mimi nikaanza kusema na stress. Nika nikashia na ile kazi yangu nilikuwa nimeenda nayo home. Nika ni connect na friend yake anakumbuka kanitumia anga 1000. Kanambia ndio buy vitu basic juu nilikuwa nilikuwa alikuwa ameniweka kwa ile chafu yake. So nilikuwa anga nikaenda hose every time nafanywa scan nuna control then scan inaletanga mpaka the exact day yenye azim utaza mm-hmm. so najua weeks ziko flani am almost so kwenda kwa nyumba siku kasa na mandi so the real pain ikakuja nikaenda tukaenda usi nenda pumwani na kumbuka tukiwa kwa sister yangu alikuwa amekam hiyo bibi sister yangu alikuwa amekam tukiwa tumekaa naye akapigia mgongo wangu mama akamwambia sister yangu she's due na amechoka hata atona kitu mgongo wangu ni akatumenga ndo ya taxi akatupelekanga kenda kumani i delivered a bouncing baby boy sa ngatoka nika discharge wa nikarudi kwa nyumba kingeri ndo kwa nyumba hakuna anything ndio mpata mtoto so kufika kwa nyumba the first thing you told me ambia ni am account days na zingiani mhm umka umetoka usi you fresh yani uko bado na hizo nini za usi na umekuja mtu anakuelesha tena kwambia nimesabu masiko by the hazingiani so mimi hapana huyu mtoto itabidi tu mm-mm. nice alimbe uko sure juu mimi napiga masiku zangu na hazingiani uh-huh. that's what he tell me so mimi nikalia so hiyo pain nikalia si sangu aka aka kaniuliza ni nini nikamwambia kaliwa nakataa mtoto si wake akakasirika akapiga simu home sasa akupigia nini akapigia nini wangu akamwambia imagine ni kwa hivi na hivi but now they didn't wakasema wacha tutaongea hiyo maneno wacha kwanza apone ama usinini tutaongea hiyo maneno then tukakaa hapo na kumbuka nilikuwa nimeapply ngi kio you heard of kio Kenya youth empowerment program yes. so ni kwanga nimeapply so nimerudi kwa nyumba around a day after napata 10000 on my account ni kwanga za grant mm-hmm ni pesa nilienda nikafanya shopping tukafanya nini at least shopping sasa ya chakula nikafanya hivyo mm. tukakaa but all through okay hiyo shopping sasa ndio naweza sema ili tusaidia hivyo things were not okay tukangangana tukapamana things were sasa sahihi kuna watoto wawili mm-hmm. na huyu mdogo kumbuka amekataliwa so unafika ngazi hata unaitisha mtu pampers na nakwambia eh mimi bado si una si wambe babake pampers Mm. Ndio sababu papa akipata mtu hata amekupata ka text na kuzi ndio baba mtoto. Kwa simu. Any things were so bad. But now I didn't have anyone to share to mm-hmm. na shindwa ntaanza kuambia aje. Acha mm-hmm. nyamaze. So nikakaa first, second, third, fourth. Mtu akiwa around 7 months nilikuwa online, nilikuwa tu TikTok hivi. Nikaona kuna madimu wa Saudi waki wako wanakonga online ever mm-hmm. so the other conversation venye uko ati mtu anasema mimi hata nikiwa Kenya nipate job ya 15000 i'd rather do than kukuja huku kumia mgongo juu huku kazi kwa hapa hata upewe pesa ngapi utarudi kama una hata mgongo mm-hmm. then ka comment hapo chini hata ya 15 ni Kenya kuna tena ngana na hali yako huko mm-hmm. so ndio jamaa mwingine akasema eh ati ya 15 hakuna huyu jamaa pia walikuwa live 
but sasa mimi nilikuwa hapa kwa comment section tu mm-hmm. i wasn't live so jamaa akasema ati eh mimi uko wapi kwani ile si kama mtu anakutaja hivyo nikamwambia tu niko hii Nairobi ati nini kuna job kuna job unaweza unaweza fanya job gani ah, ah, but akasema we want mtu wako learned as in kama uko na alisema kama uko na C plus and above C plain mm-hmm. and above nikamwambia mimi i have a C mm-hmm. ati uko sure mm-hmm. eh akasema mwenye ako na discipline and above alete document zake mali fulani mali fulani na disko gani Wednesday alisema anga hivyo akapeana namba yake ya Airtel hapo online mm-hmm. na akasema mkifika mnipigie ni fact hata mlize hapo kwa soja mnipigie na mko sure ni wangapi watakuja mimi nikamwambia I'll come hivyo mm-hmm. that's how I got a job mm-hmm. actually and that guy was so genuine he has been so supportive sasa wenye nilipata hiyo job huyu nao baba watoto akasema nime nimelala nime na nini women connect job but before hiyo nilikuwa nimemexplainia kuna job nyingine napata hapa akaniambia job gani nikamwambia acha niliambiwa Wednesday nitapeleka papers mm-hmm. njoo hata siko na papers nini ndio ya kutoa photocopies hizo maneno akaniambia utafanya nini utanisaidia niende nitoe copies akaniambia ah hizo ni vitu hakuna hizo ni vitu porocho nikumganga nienda kwa hiyo cyber nikaongelesha hiyo jamani kaambia unaweza nitelezi nitakuletea do nikongana 20 bob toto photo copies ilikuwa around 47 na mafuti sa mafuti nikampea tu nikampea tamlete hizo zingine nikaendanga so kuendanga eh kwa ndio la kile hiyo sasa yeye mpaka anafanya sasa hiyo merchandise mhm So later later on ku notice that my new job is my cousin. But sasa ile am Joani hivyo mm-hmm. nikapata my first salary second tukatafuta do ya deposit na rent tuka shift. We shifted to Comarock. Mm-hmm. Tukaenda huko na tumetoka kwa single tumeenda kwa two bedroom. So tumenye tumeenda huko single room two bed to two bedroom. bedroom. Mm-hmm. Maisha ni ambayo sasa. Maisha ni ambayo kwa mzuri. So nimekuwa huko mimi ndio nalipa rent. Mm-hmm. Wait to bedroom. Mm-hmm. So mimi ndio ni suggest we move out nikamwambia acha tuende kusomi au the one paying rent na uyu house gani ndio nilikuwa nalipa so ilikuwa ngani kirudi kwanza kitu ya kwanza hiyo time kumbuka 7 months bado mtoto ananyonya so si unarudi you need to take a shower unyonyesha mtoto kama una nini then so ilikuwa ngani kifika most 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 times yeye alikuwa ananitangulia nitampata amefika kwa nyumba so nikifika hivi nataka kuingia kuoga na niza mbona nataka kushawa I'm like si nimetembea the whole day kazi tu ni kutoka from one shop to another hiyo ku sweat. Aniambia pana huyu kwa naona ume. Wewe mbona unataka kuoga? Nyonyesha mtoto kwanza ndio niamini. Okay, na nani nanyonyesha? So ukimaliza sasa unajua ile umekuja umesema tunataka kuni mtu akwambie unyonyesha mtoto kunyonyesha. Hata hiyo sekia kwa gogo inafanya nini? Inaisha. Mm-hmm. Namnyonyesha. So ikakwa ukishamaliza kunyonyesha anachukua simu. Anaingia kwa colleagues, anaingia kwa messages, anaingia kwa WhatsApp. Yaani anakoroga kila kitu. Yako sasa. Yangu, simu yangu. So ingia hapo maybe by sije by mistake kama nini. Apata there's a new number in call during the day. I have to explain you call me and why you call me, what you wanted. Kwanza angalia mpaka minutes tuliongea. So ikafika hivyo, ikakuwa ni hivyo so that's part of the hiyo sasa unaona. Njoo ataniambia hata hii job si trust sana. So ulienda kukutana na watu wako. So ni chelewe okay kuna sometimes unaweza patana na jam ufike mapema then kuna time unaweza fika late so ile siku umefika mapema anakwambia ilifaa ukwe na date ka backfire ndio maana umefika kwa nyumba mapema really yes ile siku umekuja late leo ilivana eh <laughs> ilivana umekuja late nikonga nikifika nitampata anambia atanipeleka kwa room sasa sunguka huko tulikwanga kwa single room uh-huh. nilikuwa nikibeba maji nikiona anambia chana hiyo maji rudi nyesha mtoto uh-huh. na yeye sabika uzi anipeleka kwa room atania dress nitaka uchi ataniambia ah uh, mbona leo uja sweat siji okay at first ilikuwa atani atania dress aninuse anambie unaume uli, ulienda date zako na ukaoga na mimi ndo sijaoga. Eh. He tries to do that. Yeah. So it's it's not funny but it's it doesn't sound real to me. It is that's how you used to do. Cause ataniambia nilienda nili date, nika maybe nikaoga huko, nikarudi. So maybe mimi sijui alikuwa na confirm nini. Yeye ndiye anajua sasa alikuwa ananosa cause yeye ndiye alikuwa anataka evidence. So ilikuwa ni hiyo routine. Tafika niambie hivyo. 
So nikifika niki, nikifika mimi kama hajafika kuja pata nimeoga, hiyo nitaingia room atani atani Okay, it was so violent. Hadi kuna siku kazi yangu alikuwa my cousin alikuwa kwa nyumba. So nimeingia kwa nyumba hivi then my phone rang. Ni pick it was a new number yenye sija save. Akanipigia na kumko mtu aliniuliza uko kwa nyumba nikamwambia yeye. Then akasema ah wrong number kakata. Akanambia huyu ndio mlikuwa na yeye. Sasa yaka change statement akanambia mkuuza umefika au oh, mlikuwa na yeye. Na mkuuliza umefika nikamwambia mimi hata sijui ni namba sijui. Tukiendelea kuongea akachukua simu akampigia. So kumpigia huyo ka, jamani akatangulia kuongea hiyo za gay. Akamwambia akanambia akipole ni wrong number. Akanambia so hivyo ndio mlikuwa mmwambia seme. Wachanze vita akachukua kisu. Eh yeah, akanambia ya yeah. so kuchukua kisu hii kazi yangu alikuwa kwa nyumba akashtoka jua aliona huyo mtu anataka kunimaliza akachukua kisu kazi yangu aka I didn't know she develop alikuwa na pressure ikapanda aka faint si so, kufaint yake ikanisaidia sasa so, sinaona wakacha ku deal na mimi yeye na house girl wakamkimbiza husi akaenda akapata ile panda wakamtibu hivyo hiyo siku nikaponea kwa kwa hivyo then kuna siku kuna okay tulikuwa tuna have fights mpaka kuna house girl alikuwa ananiambia eh mirisi maisha hata kama ni ndoa hii si ndoa cuz i don't remember the last time mm-hmm. nikitoka job mm, i don't remember the last time nikitoka job nika have dinner even kakula in peace jili kwanga tutakuja tutatokea tuka issue tuta fight tutapigana tutafanya nini and then me i don't know what was sij kama alikuwa sawa ama kwa sawa kwanga tuko kwa bed tumelala ataniamsha saa saba. Aniambia mimi nyota aliniona mchana aliniona mchana nilikuwa na mwanaume nimesimama siji mfupi ni explain you is that. Kumka ndiye ameota ndoto ataniamsha. Ni explain hiyo ndoto nilikuwa na nani. Na niambia nataka nimwambie sasa hiyo. I'm like mimi mchana nimekuwa na job nimekutana na watu colleagues mimi hata ni nani sasa huyo ananiangalia. Naambia pana kuna ndoto imenikuzia and mimi nikiya ndoto it's not a lie. So ni kweli nilikuwa na nani mchana. I'm like nilikuwa na nani tukifanya nini? So tuta, tutakuwa na hizo vitina itafika mpaka mimi nitachoka ndambia mimi sasa nataka kulala kisha na roka nenda job. Wanambia na kunyesha na njibu hivyo. Atakupiga, atakufanya nini? So utapata umelala hata mimi bwana hawa ndio yale ya for umefika unafaa ku prepare utoke wende job, unafika job uko stressed. Mimi hata ilikuwa anga nafika jioni na kuja nakumbuka narudi kwa nyumba nasikia hata saa jioni zifike. Sasa ndio kuja kufika nitoke kuna ndi nimetoka job nikafika kwa nyumba kumbuka all this when it happened kunusa nini nini tukiingia kwa kitanda hata ananiambia mimi by the hata si si ku feel so sa wakati oh, well, all this is happening mm. eh bwana na baby kuna no, usiana sasa ilikuwa imefika akitaka kulala na mimi na jumis kwa na feel ikwa out of my concept juu hizo vitu kana nifanyia fights tukiangalia usiangu by the way tunaona some marks zina heel size za black nilikuwa anga tu kitu kidogo asha kugwara kitu kidogo asha kupiga kuna time naona moja hapa naona moja hapa ya kuna zingine sawa hivyo so ilikuwa hakuna there's no feelings kabisa mimi zilifika anga zikaisha kabisa zikaisha kuna siku nimetoka job nimekuja tumea fight tumeingia kwa room so tumeingia kwa room akanambia ati mimi kuna kitu nataka nikwambie kama kitu gani kutoka leo ujue sitakuwa na lala na wewe nini i'll be from behind i'll be using i'll be having an sex me because i didn't see it coming through come this uh, what akanambia mimi si shana maliona mwingine wanaingia so na ndo napenda uko nje yako mimi sasa nataka na nick from you na i did it that day it first be sasa so, kulikuwa na house guard theater room kulikuwa na mtoto niko peke yangu huko nashindwa kulia sasa hawa atashindwa huyu sio alikuwa mchana eh yani okay i don't know what to do it Sorry. but it was so painful and I had to go through it that night remember i cried the whole night nikamkasubui nikaenda job since it was so na kumkata asubui nika kwa mat sikuwa singeweza kukaa It was so painful nilifika job nilikuwa na stress then sasa ile uko job uko so disturbed you don't know what to do ndio friend yangu akanambia Maria uko sawa mhm nika nikamdanganya nika, eh, nika niko sawa akanambia no uko sawa hebu tukae chini kaombea nikaambia siwezi ka then he was like wizi ka aje then i broke down ndio sasa akanambia hey 
ni nini and then i find myself sharing the story kambia this and this happened to me and ivo ndio kuko kanambia mimi no hiyo kitu kama ulikubali kakufanyikia na ukai ukijua itafanyika tena na tena na tena as long as imeanza so ni hivyo kambia no know what to do kambia no you need to move out kabisa hiyo kitu that's not si poa so mimi tumeingia kwa room akaniambia na bidu kwa ukijua yasa yeye tena ndiye akaniambia it was so sweet it's so tight na sasa hapo ndiye hapo ni hapo sasa nikama nikaimagine akaniambia i'm giving you two days to three days to heal na uje ni hapo sasa wenye najipanga ni kwa zile za what should i do eh mimi sasa nilikuwa nikiamba kwa room najipata tu nimeanza kulia tu nakumbuka tu trauma hiyo yeah ikaka hiyo the after hiyo the first day the second day the third day nimetoka job so i'm like wewe well, ulikuwa umenipea two days sasa so, ile siku leo nashindwa okay nikiwa hapo mimi nilikuwa nikwambia nilikuwa nasonga na lipa rent kuna loan tulichukua kapeleka mtu shule ndio nilimjenisha shule so i didn't have any cash so najiuliza ndaenda wapi watoto ndio wani kuna house gani ta move aje things were held as kept they couldn't come kwa napiga mahesabu azingiani so hiyo sa hiyo third day nimeingia before ningia nilikuwa job ta house bidi nikatoka around 4:30 around 5 ndio nilitoka job kutoka alikuwa amenipigia kitu for kaniza umetoka job nikamwambia niko almost kuto kutoka kaniambia ni sawa nje tao ile nye uko na kibe handbag then sasa simu hizi shikilia kwa mkono umeka kwa handbag na nilikuwa nimeka vibration so simu iko kwa bag sisiki kilia kumbe amenipigia hiyo kama natoka sijaskia nimetoka kitambo nifike stage in the process then nifike stage i met a friend colleague to a field but in a different field in a company mm-hmm. yeye tuko mbele tawangu kutoka kwa friend tuka meet alikuwa amebuy stuff za kafo zilikuwa na offer hizi my utensils kuna times kwa nani so nikamza hey hizi nani akambe ni zile vitu kafo alikuwa na offer nikambe hebu niangalie hiyo kusorora tukapiga mashine nikambe hata mimi nataka nyingi hizi it's a good deal so hiyo conversation it took around 45 to around an hour to hiyo process yote kumbuka simu yangu nimeweka huko mm. tunapiga stories njiangalia kumba amenipigia so nikatoka nikafika barabara nikaingia nikaingia kwa gari ingia kwa gari kuna kulikuwa na buses na kulikuwa na mabasi around 2 so nikaingia moja kuangalia haijai it was on a saturday haijai nikashuka nikaenda kwa next nyenye niliona imekuja na iko na watu nikaona hii tatoka haraka so nimeingia nimesetu ndio natoa simu sasa angalia kuangalia around 17 missed calls na different messages sasa nikaanza na messages ati wewe leo kwa hiyo mara yako usikuje hapa na kumbe that was it man eh kasama mara nikaendelea kusoma hata sijamaliza call ikaingia yake nika receive akaanza kwa wapi nikamwambia tao tao wapi nikamwambia ndio nimepanda gari niko kwa bus ati na ujue leo nitakuwa wewe kale kuniambia hivyo na ujue leo nitakuwa ah mimi saa juu always nimekwanga na fights na fights and then alikuwa anga na kitu ya nitakuwa okay alikuwa anga amezoea sasa ana tukipigana lazima nishike kisu so ilikuwa imeapen around three times uh-huh. na sasa alikuwa amezoea akiniambia nitakuwa na hata nikikuwa kuna kitu watu watanifanyia hakuna mali tanipeleka wewe utakufa tu so ilikuwa imeningia kwa kile so hata isipo akiniambia nitakuwa nikasema ah is the kwatu another no more fake kawaida tutapigana kisha tafika mimi nikamwambia sawa nikapanda gari nikaenda kumbe hii time yote i didn't have uh, data so si kwa online na i didn't have credit kumbe my house girl alikuwa ameni I mean tafuta ile mtu anaku hash call so I go through juice na yata imam jaribu kutafuta online anipati so alikuwa so baadaye ndiye ananiambia kini jaribu kupigia juu hiyo mtu ndiye anako na hasira so nilikuwa nataka nikwambia ta uzikam asa simi kwa kile nitajambia ni sawa nikaenda kumka sasa ndio hii third day na niko na ile so nimeenda na kumka nikawa almost kufika akanipigia kanambia umefika wapi nikamwambia I'm almost kanambia na upitie kwa kibanda uchukulie watoto ndizi hii nyimiva waleta nikamwambia ni sawa and then akafanya <coughs> after your conversation kanambia ah ni sawa mimi nikaenda kanambia alikuwa ananifuatilia umefika wapi naambia ni almost ni almost 
So ndio the last call akaanza umeshika ya umenua ndizi nikaambia yeye. Nikachukua. So geti tu ilikuwa inalokiwa. So usikuwa na extra key. Kufika hapo before hata ni mkola akanipigia nikamwambia hata niko kwa geti nifungulie akaambia sawa na kuja kufungulia. Yeye mwenyewe anakumbuka akakuja akanlock akanishika mkono. Akaniangalia jumba ka chini tukapanda tu. Ah, kufika hivi sasa yule mtoto mdogo ameona mama amekuja ile ananifurahia. Then nakumbuka hiyo time nephew wake alikuwa ametutembelea. So tulikuwa mimi yeye, the kids, the house girl na the nephew. So ninge hivi kwa nyumba mtoto mdogo ana nini? Nikitaka kumshika akaniambia pana hiyo mtoto pewe hiyo msichana. So the house girl akawaambia watu, mimi sijui alikuwa amewaambia nini, but niliingia wakitoka. So ninge kwa nyumba wao wakatoka. Akawatoa. Kupatia watoto ndizi. Siku fika ta kuwa pea. Nilingia tu hivi wawa kembua tu wakabati yu mdogi ya likuwa. Nikitaka kumshika kanambia pana mpeane. Haka nisikuma kwa kite. So huyo nephew wake, the house girl na watoto wakatoka. Basasa walitoka huyo mdogi akili, akili ya. Wakaenda. Wike hivyo, haka lock mlangu. Haka funga ya juu, haka funga ya chini. Haka nisikuma room. Wengia kwa room kawaida, haka nitoa nguwa. Kwa nitoa nguwa, haka nda kaleta kiso. And then kulikuwa na mtingine I'll send you the picture nilikuwa nimepiga picha kulikuwa na mti hapo inakaa kaenda sasa hizo hivyo iko na nodes kulikuwa mrefu ka inakaa ka miwa amesimamisha kwa kona hapo kwa room so hapo ndio sinaweza kurudi hey, hela ilikuwa ni kufe sasa so nishaanza kutens kumka amalon tuko mimi na yeye mimi niko uchi sasa akachukua ile mti akanisukuma kwa kitanda ah akaniambia kwanza ni kneel down kumka nimeshatoa nguo akaniambia kneel down sasa ni kinil na mza nimefanya nini anza ulikuwa wapi na kupigia simu from 4 uchukui nikambia si 4 ndi si mata before ta nji explain asha chukui ili ya mti doka alimali alikuwa meweka haka nigonga na ayo kichwa so kunigonga kwa kichwa ikapasuka ili ikakatikia kwa kichwa then nilikuwa nimesonga sasa iyo chungu yote nikashika hivi kushika haka nishika haka ninyonga shingo sasa anambia ata upigia ndula kuna mtu taksedia then kulikuwa na sound ya tv so sitting room ni kuku kwa room then ananifinyilia sasa kwa kitanda hivi kabisa na ni press na jaribu kupiga nduru hakuna sasa mtu atasikia tanambia usi jaribu kupiga nduru sasa nikona hapa nisha kufa sana shindu atafanya nini haka nambia ta usijali na watoto nisha wapiana siju maikazi ni atawapik nisha wapiana ata washa inda washa pikiwa so usijali na wawo so kutukua mina ee then hile kiswa likuwa michukua sasa hile venyali tigonga hile mti haka chukua yu half of it haka nza kusha pen kanambia ni parimi mku antaka sasa iyo ni mtoka kuni nini jue iyo pin venya ta feel sasa mini kawana hee na kufa ya just ni to anza kumba msama mini kanza kumba msama na mbea kimia msori sijafanya kitu ni metoka tutao nilipata na msichana mgini rafiki yangu ambia hizo msori za kwa za uungo kila siku ni mechoka leo na kuhua nikijaribu kunia na mbea nyamaza sasa ananishika shingo sasa mbaka yuko mefika nikijaribu kumeza mate ni uchungu so and then alikuwa amenifinya hivi amenipanua na makucha hivi so ilikuwa imefika nikijaribu kufungua mdomo nasikia uchungu so niko zile za najifunyia hivi shinga sha nifinya kichwa ni uchungu venye alinigonga ile mti then and then kumkoko kwa uchi sasa huku nishaanza alikuwa ananigonga gonga hivi so nishaanza kusikia pain then niko uchi sasa kaendea kushapa hiyo kitu anambia sitaki niangalie nimekwambia miguu iko hivi fungua hiyo miguu yako sasa nikininivo sasa hata silini ili ya kutens na shik kabisa like hata sauti ya itoki na mwambia aki ya msuri miaki usiniwe nisamee tu anambia ni kusamee marangapi na kusamee unafuka kwa nyumba marangapi na mwambia aki nisamee sasa ndia mbaliza kushapia na ndaka wakuza hivi you don't know what happened stima ikapotea haka ameishika hivi stima ikapotea haka enda kuhunini haka fungwa mlangu haka sema enda kuzima switch ya tv minu kamfata kwa nda sita nyo kumbe sasa unajonga ile steam ikipotea venye watu wanatoka nje wasikie nini me happen kama maybe nitoke nzimeisha ama imeenda kila mahali watoto kumbe yule house girl akwenda mbali alirudi so kwa mlango watoto sasa wakaanza kuita mlango wanaita mam 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 kumbuka sasa steam imepotea mm. watu wametoka nje watoto wanalea kwa mlango sasa so, yule mkubwa anaita mam angelia anaita mam mam ana knock sasa so, niko sitting room niko uchi akafungua mlango so kufungua nikaruka then kutoka nje nikatoka nje but sasa nikiwa uchi but kulikuwa na leso hapo kwa grill nikajifunga hivi but sasa watoto walikuwa hapo nikaibika nikarudi ndani nikashika mdogo nikiwa na leso so tukarudi kwa nyumba so kurudi kwa nyumba 
okay na kaa tu niko na malama then sasa kumbuka nifi wake anaingia kanipanguza panguza like nothing has happened nikaka kaambia rudi nani nini wende wogi yuko kwa kwa nataka kuoga so kaka kina kama tuko nataka kuoga nikarudi sikuoga nikaenda tu nikavaa nguo nikarudi wewe uzge na kaingia jikoni akapika then we didn't talk anything so tumenya manza tu anjeribu kuniambia ati eh kazi ilikuwa ngumu so ah nambe hivyo kaka wakapika tukapika sapa didn't siku kula watoto wakakula but unajua kuna okay what on the things are not right but ndio hiyo ni film tu ilikuwa maliza form 4 house gani mkubwa jo mtu ambaye alikuwa na mtu hiyo then watoto wangu then yeye akozi za anaambia hiyo house gani hata umeza unajua tu maisha hii maisha ya ndoa si rahisi ni kuvumiliana tu so tukaka akamaliza tuka watoto wakakula sapa mtoto mood tu naona things are not okay tukaingia kwa room mimi na yeye ingia kwa room akaniambia sasa anataka uniambie niko na nani nikamwambia siko na mtu anambia nataka uende kwake mali ulikuwa nikamwambia siko na mtu nimetoka tu job nimenyenda kupiga story sasa tukiwa hapo niko zile za akaniambia nataka utoke na uende hiyo room nyingine the other room ilikuwa ya hosga na yule msichana wangu mimi na yeye kwa room nefi ya melala sitting room sana shindo okay najua tu ni prank sisi toka niende imekuwa late it's a wrong nini akaanza kuniambia sasa oh, mm, mimi nataka niambie ukweli nimbe tu ilikuwa na nani nitakusamea nikamwambia mimi sikuwa na mtu tulipingana hiyo almost 3 hours kushtukia ni almost 4 am Mimi niliona phone kaambia Mungu ameni asubuhi imekucha. Nikaingia nikaoga. Sultanga jumbo kwa alama. Mhm, nilitoka nikanini. Sasa venye niliingia kwa bafu, akaniambia unaenda kuoga nini? Nataka urudi hapa kwanza. Niambia ulikuwa na nikaambia sikuwa na mtu na unarudi uko leo. Nikaambia sikuwa na mtu mimi naenda job hata kutaka unaenda ni Scott. Ili tu zona Sunday. Nikuwa naenda Westland. Akaniambia mimi siwezi kwa Scott. Wenda tu job zako lakini juu siku yako itafika. So venye niliona nimeoga nimevaa nguo nimetoka kwa hiyo nyumba nikamwambia Mungu thank you and that's why I left till today hiyo siku nilingia job ndienda tao nika buy mask nikajifunga nikaingia job nikafanya tu job kawaida jioni sikurudoko nikaenda to my friends leo friend wangu mimi nilikuwa nimesha na yeye nikamwambia ABCD has happened so nikamwambia kijana mimi niliponea kifo sio nilikurudi kwa hiyo nyumba mhm kanambia kuja cuz kuja tu akanipa direction nikaenda kwake so that that's is, that is how you found yourself that's here. how I found myself here i left everything so according to him even when i toka aliona alidhani nimeenda to my uncle's place so nikalala it was on a sunday hiyo monday ilikuwa holiday hiyo holiday nilikuwa off off yangu ilikuwa na monday siku ya jo so siku na yesa pia akuingia job so akakana watu hii akakana hiyo so the following day tuesday akamsha watoto asubuhi it was raining akamsha watoto asubuhi akawapeleka kwa yule uncle yangu wa south sea so alidhani nitorokea huko akawapeleka na house girl na nini na watoto na house girl akawapeleka huko asubuhi so mimi niko job hiyo tuesday baada nikamka nikaenda job so nikiwa huko yule uncle yangu ndiye akanipigia simu akanambia watoto wako wako huko nini ilifanyika kambia wacha tu ndakao. So nikafika huko, akitaka kuniambia watu treme nikamwambia Mr. Aki, sorry nini nikapata watoto wako hapo. Amewaacha na house girl. Sasa hapo ndio tuliongea na house girl akaniambia ni baby ile siku ilifaa ni kunini but you didn't have credit au kwa on, online. So mimi nilishindwa ndafanya nini? Nitakukomunicate aje. But ile mtu atakuja kukoa. Mimi chunga maisha yako. Nikamwambia ni sawa. So nikaka kwa hiyo uncle yangu uncle yangu so alikuwa zile za sasa wewe hata tunakuta wanga huko na unarudi kutoka uh-huh. hapo uende uh-huh. actually it is me nikamwambia ngo mimi nishamo huko sirudi nilipoanea kifa kaambia tunaona toka anga huko na unarudi sasa wewe rudi mngangane na alia uh-huh. na ndio yako hapa kwa ngwezi kanikaambia hapana but sasa ju nilikuwa naona stay kumbe baada nikitaka kutoka kulikuwa na kazi yangu hapo akaniambia kuzo kuja tukae tu hapa so nika shift kwa hiyo uncle yangu nikaingia kwa hiyo kuzo wangu akani host kaka ndio mimi nikafika nika nikwanga nikwambia nikwanga nimechukua loan 
nikachukua kalamu huko nika clear nikachukua kingine then nikaanza maisha huko mm-hmm. that's how I'm here without my documents without anything kila kitu kwa kwake mm-hmm. then later akaenda kwa chief aka report ati nilikuwa nimetoka kwake bila watoto nikarudi huko na mwanaume nikanyanganya watoto and then say anasema nampigia simu na muomba upkeep na na kana mwanaume so chief akaniita samoni ya kwanza sikwenda ni kwa job ya pili nikaenda so kwenda tukakaa chini chief akaniambia ati nyi bado mnakaa mko na hasira i'll give you two months ndio mrudi tusolve maneno uh-huh. na bado mmeenda home muongea nikamwambia okay hii process yote tulimake niliambia tuliongea home wakaniambia twende to solve. Tulienda actually but in alienda kivi yake nikaenda kivi yangu tukapatana home. Sasa kukuja alikuja peke yake peke yake. Watu wa home wakasema enda leto watu wako nao. The elders dao mango ndio waonge au which as they later. But mimi nikamwambia ngata kama ataleta mimi nishaamua I'm going back there. Hata kama ataleta. So my worst fear right now I fear for my life because huyu mtu anashinda ametuma. Okay, mimi nimemblock right now nimemblock but kuna time anakupigia anakutext na new number anakwambia ati hata uende wapi i'll find you hata usingangane kunini najua mali nafanya kazi najua mali unaishi huyu mwanaume mnakaa na yeye utajua ujui so ni mtu anajua mali nafanya kazi so mimi nikitembea i'm always in fear anaweza tokea anywhere and you alone bebe kisi kwa nyumba hata kwa njia anaweza kuwa konayo mm-hmm. i can't know what i don't know what i can do <sighs> Mary Yes. Wewe peke yako ndio umebeba haya mambo yote. Mm, And what is the status of your mind right now? It's not okay. I can't try. It's not okay cuz kuna time naamka na sikia tu hata kama nikiwa tu hapo kwa hiyo nyumba yangu na shtuka tu all over side cuz nilikuwa nimezoea kwa ile nyumba tunaweza kaa tu hivi ndio usingizi na kuchukua unaamshwa. So inafika kama sometimes na kaa na kaa. You no. feel like you need a counselor? I do kwa family Mary requires a counselor and I know some of you have reached out to us with counseling services she needs them kosi yenye umefanya Mary mm. and as much as sayu nafanya merchandising kuna kosi gani Mary I was CPA part 1 mm. and part 2 mm-hmm. and in high school I had a good grade I had a B minus wow but I didn't okay I wanted a cause I've been dreaming of nursing mm-hmm. and wanted to be in a medical field but I've not been able to be there like, I know I can make it if given a chance if given an opportunity I can make it No Mary Yes uh, you are working yes uh, but you need uh, some support yes, basically you need some support I know. because of the children Uh, and and you know to at least furnish the house and all that so if you don't mind you can give your number so that anyone who want to support you with anything they may yes my yeah. number is 0713638120 Mary Araka Mary Araka yes and we thank your friend so Vain. so much so much yes. she's the one who has who sent us that email thank you vin thank you vin thank you this is one of the most painful stories that i have covered here wish you the very best thank you to co family i'm sure they've had it and they will stand with you I'm so sorry for what you've gone through. I thought I was shocked when I read the email but right now I'm I'm short of words. But be courageous. And uh, if you're out there and you're a lawyer you can help her get her documents uh, and work out a, a formula. I know in as much as there could be something called restraining orders this is also a situation where he is the father of her children so there needs to be a balance eh unaona hiyo anafaa kuona watoto eh you also need to be safe 
that's why I'm calling on on legal advice. Sure. But as well, you require counseling. That is too much for one person to carry. Uh, if I'm shocked like this and I've just heard it from you, how about you who have experienced it? I'm so sorry, but we are praying for a turnaround of your life. First of all, I am happy that you decided to restart and begin where you could, but for your safety and the safety of your children. And we pray that the Tuko family is, is large and they listen to stories and they support our guests. And I'm sure it'll be one of them that will receive support from them. Tuko family. I am out of words to even conclude this story. You've heard it yourself. Let's stand with Mary. She has been through so much. And as much as she's laughing and telling the story and smiling, deep down, I know you can feel her pain. That has been Mary's story right here on Tuko. Let's do this. Thank you.